Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Tehran here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's a Town Hall 10 uh, oriented video, going to be talking about this new strategy I've kind of devised. It's been working okay. I want to uh, do a few attacks with it, a few friendly challenges, see if we can pull off some three stars. Uh, shout out to Sub Zero for the base. But basically, taking a look at what this composition is, um, it's kind of a mix of a few different things. It's a queen walk for part of it, and then a bowler kill squad with a few Valks as well. The witches are intended to walk around the outside of the base like they do in uh, the, the Town Hall 11 attacks. You see stuff like that. Um, so the witches, a few bowlers, maybe, and a wizard walking around the outside of the base to kind of clear up one side while the kill squad goes in and the queen goes around possibly the other side. Um, a lot of flexibility with this. And then also... Um, there's four balloons in a haste, which actually you can get them into an inferno tower. Um, sometimes the queen can clear out defenses in front of the inferno, and then you just haste the loons into the inferno, kind of suicide balloons. They can get it taken out. So a lot of different options. We have a base uh, we're going to be hitting up here. Uh, big sub zero. Let's see if we can get this one. Um, I'd thought about this before. Basically, I'm going to try to queen walk from around 9 o'clock down to like 6 o'clock, send the kill squad in at like uh, 3 o'clock, and uh, the witch is just kind of tangent to the kill squad, if that makes sense. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I think this is a good base to try the strategy out on. Let's get a minion here, and then let's get the queen down. And her healers it should be pretty easy for her just to walk downwards. Might have to use her ability, but um, yeah, this should be a, a good base to try this out on. Uh, once again, shout out to Big Sub Zero um, because once these bases are released, they can't really be used in war. So kind of a donation base, an old base, I guess. Anyway, the queen's walking down. That looks good. Um, let's get a minion here. I'm gonna wall breaker her in so she can get the expo as soon as she aggro's a few more buildings. Um, wait for it, wait for it. One, two, three, four. I don't think I need a test wall breaker there. Um, we might have to rage her up, it looks like. Oh no, come on, step up, step up, step up, step up. Ah, lost the queen. You know what, let's just try this again. Um, stupid rage placement. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw my base up. So other people can attack it. And uh, let's try this again. Um, I did not want to hit the ability there. I guess I was too stubborn. Um, minion, queen, one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a minion going here, um, just so she actually goes into the base. Um, but yeah, she's going to stay out of range of the Inferno, it looks like, which is actually really nice, because um, I, might, I would have to waste her ability otherwise. And actually, maybe should I use the ability? No, it's not going to be enough, so I'm going to use the Rage. The Rage typically is a little bit better than the ability, because it, it lasts for a longer period of time, even though it doesn't quite do as much for her. So let's get ready. Expo, one, two, three, four. And let's get her Raged up correctly this time. There we go. Okay. Uh, so she should step up. Let's just take a look at what the funnel is going to be like on this side. Uh, we can maybe get a wizard in advance over here. Um, yeah, the queen should be fine. She might take the CC troops, but that's all good. Um, so let's get the golem. One, two. One, two, one. Um, let's get the witches up here. King. Queen's going through a wall, which is interesting. Wall breakers. Some valks. Jump, Rage, Freeze, and a Heal. Pop the King's ability, get a bowler going. The witches are doing their job. Um, all right, here's this uh, trick right here. Let's see it. Get the haste down. Let's get a minion down here. Yeah, see, look, they got that Inferno, which is really clutch, actually. Um, I guess we'll get a wizard up here. This one's not going to go for a triple, most likely, but um, not bad. The The kill squad going in wasn't the best angle, maybe. They didn't even get the Inferno. You can see there's a bunch of Teslas in the core. I'll have to rethink how I want to go at this base. 
um, we'll pop the queen right here and uh, probably just end this thing so I can, you know, try a few more. Um, yeah, let's back out and uh, really taking a look at his base real quick. Um, big sub zero. I don't know. It's it's interesting because the four loons, I like the walk. The walk is uh, very efficient. Um, the four loons going in there is good. Maybe... I should reorient the kill squad. Um, I think I'll send the balloons in earlier and I'll send my kill squad in just adjacent right here with the witches walking in the same uh, way. I think the witches are getting okay value. That is yet to be determined though. Um, I'll have to watch these attacks a little more in depth. But um, let's get the... Uh, I think this minion is necessary. Minion, queen, one, two, three, four. Um, I guess this minion was also necessary. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Might as well put it down. Um, don't talk too much during the video. <laughs> well, that one's kind of already. That ship sailed. No pun intended to the update, by the way. Um, should be a cool update. I'll talk more about it later. But and anyway, Queen's stepping up right here. I'll get the this thing ready. The wall breakers and the rage. And I can't really do any pre funneling up there. Actually, maybe I can drop a wizard just like right up there. Um, one, two, three, four, rage, they got it, okay, and, yeah, I'm not really getting much value from these minions, but who cares, um, it's the queen stepping up, let's get these loons going, one, two, three, four, you can drop the haste kind of far out, because the only thing they have to get is that inferno, so it's, disregard my last video on, um, the, inf uh, what's it called, Hey, how to drop your haste spells. That doesn't apply quite as much in these types of situations. Okay, uh, let's get those guys down. Let's get the king. Wall breakers. One, two, three. And then the witches up here with a wizard. And we'll jump them into the core. Ooh, need a poison here. Uh, rage. And then a heal. This should get some awesome value, actually. Then we have a freeze where we need it. Um, actually, I like this better. I think this might go for a triple. Let's get this freeze ready. There it is. Get the king. I don't know what's going to get the inferno. Another jump would be nice, but I don't have the spell space. Um, hmm, let's see. Queen's doubling back around. Oh, the second bounce? Come on. Come on. There we go. Second bounce on the Inferno. This base might be... Let's see if we can get some archers down to help. I don't know where to put my other troops. Anything in the corners? Um, I guess we can get like an archer down right here. Um, it's just up to the Queen at this point. Um, I think she has plenty of uh, healers. It's just a matter of time, really. I don't Actually, I don't think she's going to get it. Not sure what I could have done differently here. Um, get an archer down right here as well. Nowhere to really put this minion. Um, yep, that will do it. About 95% is what we're looking at. So, wow, really close. Um, we'll see if I can make an adjustment. I'll watch the replay really quick, maybe take one more hit. But this is a strong strategy, guys, as you can see, if you can execute it correctly. Um, it can work out really nicely. Got a little bit lucky with the Inferno there, the second bounce, but um, that's what happens when you have a ton of full health bowlers that going through the base. So um, I'll throw my base up one more time. Or actually, it's right there. Um, anyway, any adjustments I can make is the question. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. Maybe I could, I, the queen would be better not having her deal with the lava hound. If I can send everything else in a little bit quicker, then she won't draw the hound out. That would be nice. Um, let's just take a look at the base real quick. Any final adjustments? I think the witch has got solid value. Once again, that's not verified. Let's check the witches really quick. Just see what they got. Um, here we go. Uh, fast forward through here. Queen steps up, does good stuff here. Uh, I like this walk. It's a very nice, efficient walk. And going through the wall isn't ideal, but um, I'd like her just to continue on the outside of the base, but I think she does that eventually. So here's the golem, and let's check out these witches, because really a lot of troop space is being invested in these witches. 
So are they just going down to splash damage? What are they doing? Um, yeah, they're not doing a whole lot, to be honest. Maybe I could swap in some loons. Let's get, these, get rid of these witches, swap in some loons. All right, um, we'll have one more bowler. Ah, it hurts, the gems. Okay, um, not really. That actually wasn't that expensive. Um, anyway, let's get the minion down, the queen. Hopefully that placement's okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, wizard up here. Yeah, because really they're not getting much value, those witches. So 36 troop space, uh, hopefully better spent. And maybe I can uh, get the triple this time. Okay, um, same deal. Wait for her to do her thing. Then I'll get my kill squad going. Try to get a little bit earlier. Maybe I can aggro uh, something um, in terms of getting the CC troops onto my kill squad. Let's get these loons down. The haste. Uh, oh, hurry. One, two, three, four. Rage. I think that's a good investment. 20 troop space uh, plus a haste. Um, oh, we got these guys coming out. Let's get like a minion to help out. There we go. Um, queens continuing on in. This is all good. Uh, let's go ahead and look up here. Golem. One, two, three. And our wall breakers. King. Just spam it all in here. Uh, let's get the jump. Gonna be a little bit more patient, maybe. Okay, this is actually perfect. The loons going to the queen, the hounds going to everything else. Couldn't have asked for a better situation. Um, we'll save that and get the heel down and start to get these loons going. Two, one, two, one, two. King's ability. All right, loons are in, and I'm not sure how much value they're going to get. Um, quite a few bowlers left up. The queen on a wall, we're going to have to pop her. Oh, I still have this freeze. Um, okay, I don't know where I should use it. I'm not sure if it's even good to have a freeze. Maybe I should have brought another jump. Um, wow, yeah, this one... The hound's gonna go on to my queen is the problem. This one's not quite gonna fly. I need a jump to uh, to get into that next inferno tower. Uh, let's lose the freeze. Try this base one more time. Um, uh, Ten gems. Uh, try this base one more time because I think that jump will make the difference in terms of getting my king into there because he has enough health. If I drop it just right on the junction between the king altar and the inferno, I should be able to get um, some pretty good value there in terms of getting that second inferno. So. Try this base one more time. There's the queen. Um, I think this wizard's worthwhile. Get him down up there. And uh, let's see how this one goes. Yeah, so I think this strategy could be viable. Um, it obviously takes some fine tuning, but um, one concept I really like is the four balloons on the Inferno Tower. I think that's a really um, good investment. And because Inferno Towers are being placed so far out, you can take advantage of where they um, are located and how exposed they are really. Um, just defended by a few defenses and uh, got kind of worried right there. One, two, three, four. Whew, I barely got that down. Um, it's hard to do all this at once, but I want to get the queen down as quickly as possible. Uh, she's fine. Okay. Same thing for the queen. Let's get this going while we can. That. One, two, three. Do the same thing pretty much. One, two, three, four. Um, King, Bowlers, Valks, Jump, we'll see what draws the CC troops, okay, get the poison, uh, the balloon should die, rage them up, uh, next jump's going to be right here, pop the king, wait for the bowlers to step up, there's the heal, the king's a little bit low for my liking, um, but the bowlers look pretty good. Um, one, one, two, one, two, three. The jump's there if anyone wants to take it, but um, no. This didn't get quite as much of a push. Maybe that. Maybe I should heal sooner and rage later. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I think it's the spells that are getting me. 
because um, I'm so close to getting that value there, but I can't quite get it done. Um, hmm. Maybe try this one more time, if you guys will hang out for one more attack. See if we can get this job done, just changing the deployment up a little bit. Um, you know what, forget the loons. Let's just go on with these, with these bowlers. Let's just go for it. Eight bowlers, another minion. Let's go for it. Wait, I can't delete all my balloons. That was stupid. I need four balloons to get that Inferno Tower taken out. Um, get rid of an archer, I think that should do it. Oh neat, one more space. Ah, okay, get rid of that minion. There we go. Let's try this, uh, I'll say last try. Here we go, just like a war. Let's try to get this job done. I'm um, going about 16 minutes here, so I'll try to wrap this one up soon. Hope you guys have liked the video so far. Just kind of a nice sandbox type video, trying some stuff out and friendly challenges. Um, okay, same stuff. Let's get the wizard up here. Queen's gonna step up. Make sure to get the uh, the loons in here as soon as the archer tower goes down. Then I'll do the wall breakers in the rage. So get these loons ready. Go down archer tower. Oop, those popped up kind of early. Let's get a minion here. I'll drop the loons a tad later. Actually, I can drop it right now. One, two, three, four. Haste. One, two, three, four. And a rage. All right, here we go. Queen stepping up. And let's get this going while we can. Golem. One, two, three. King. One, two, three, four. All these bowlers. Valks. I think the Valks are doing some okay. Getting some okay value for me. Um, let's get the, this down. Rage. Heal. I'm going to drop the spells a little bit earlier. That seems to work just a little bit better. Um, get that next jump down. Get a minion over here. Come on, troops. Keep going. Keep going. I think they're starting to die out on me a little bit. But I got quite a few bowlers left up. The Inferno's starting to do work on them. It's that second Inferno. If I had like some way to get loons into that, maybe. But um, I, it's not the same because the queen's not clearing stuff out. Yep, not going to get the three star. I was at 95%. That's the closest I got. Not sure why exactly that attack worked out the best. Um... Go ahead and drop, uh, pop the ability just to uh, see if we can get some more percentage. Anyway, though, hope you guys liked the video. Definitely a fun one to make these types of videos. Um, just kind of messing around, seeing what works. Town Hall 10, I mean, we're seeing different types of sneaky La Luna attacks, like the Suicide Heroes and all kinds of weird ways to get air defenses taken out, get Infernos and to La Luna bases. But I think there's a place for ground attacks as well in terms of uh, these hybrid that use... You know, some loons to sneak in there, get an Inferno Tower taken out. This base, I think, is one of the one of the better bases to do it on, but there's probably better bases still. And I didn't really tailor make this army to the base until, I guess, some of the last attacks. But if I had some time to think about it, maybe I could get the three star. Anyway, though, um, that's all we're going to have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, once again, some really cool stuff coming up for 25,000 subscribers, as well as for the updates. So stay tuned for all of that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.